So in this video, I will demonstrate how to format the attribute pop-up windows. So back in our Seattle residential building permits layer, when we have a when we make a web map or have some kind of map where we want the viewer to see the attributes associated with those locations, we want to make sure that it is formatted in a kind of a an informative way. So for example, if I click on one of these uh, building permits, you notice the title here. The title seems to be fine, except for there's an underscore. So we're not going to want to have underscores in our data or our attribute tables. You know, here is the application date that it was submitted. So we don't want to have app underscore date, uh, com underscore reporting underscore areas. We want to spell this out for um, uh, commu community reporting areas. This is like the number of demolition units. We want to, don't want to have demo and dwelling type. So we want to spell these out to make it informative. Also, we might not want to have the latitude and longitude show up. That might not be important, so we can remove those. So the first thing let's work on is the title up here. Um, so we like how it shows like when you click on it that it's in the area of the Upper Queens and area and so forth. So let's go to uh, pop-ups and so if we click on the title and we click in here we can just simply remove the underscore and then we'll put just a uh, a dash in there and then we can close that so then if we go back here now it's a little bit nicer looking right it doesn't have the underscore we want to get rid of those the next thing we want to do is go to fields and this is where we'll edit all the um, this data here. So we close that, we go to fields. So here are all our fields. So let's click on the application date. And so this is going to be the display name. We don't want that. I just happen to copy and paste that from the assignment. So we can push V and application date submitted. And then we can click done. And notice how it says application date submitted. So that looks a little cleaner and nicer. And so we'll just go through for each one of these and we will format them. So I went and I formatted all the pop-ups so you can see them here. And I just got this from uh, the, the syllabus, or not, excuse me, not the syllabus, but the uh, lab assignment. But notice how when I labeled these things that I kept everything uniform. So every uh, word starts with a capital letter. So you don't want one to start with a capital letter and the other one not. So you want to kind of have it uniform throughout of how you label these things. So if we go here and click up on our pop-ups now, now it looks much, much cleaner, much, much nicer. So that is how you format the pop-ups. So you'll notice that we still have, for example, the Y and X values in our our table um, that we maybe don't want those in there. So to remove those, but not permanently remove them, we, we go back to our pop-ups and we go to uh, fields, select fields. So here they have a check mark. So if it has a check mark, blue check mark by it, that means it is going to appear in the pop-ups. So for example, these coded values that I created, um, which thought about maybe we don't want the coded values showing up so we could turn those off uh, let's see what else we want to go down and I think all those are good kind of so maybe we don't want the X value showing we don't want the Y value showing and so we can click done and so now if we go and click on here you'll notice that we don't have those values in there they're not removed they're not deleted if we were to hit this X here that would delete it permanently, but we don't want to do that. We still want that to be able to come back and add those back in if we, if we care to. So that's how you kind of configure your pop-ups and your title of your map. So now everything looks nice, clean, and uniform.